as you can see everyone it's seat time so i finally hit the mileage that the minimum mileage that i wanted to have on two of the three seats and stick around see which ones made the cut and which ones did not All right, this is my factory Road Glide ST seat. And after 15 miles on this seat, I wanted to rip it off, throw it in the ditch, and ride with no seat to JMP Cycles because I left the dealership, went straight to JMP Cycles. But this seat, factory, is garbage. Harley, I want my money back for this seat. I know, good luck, Tweedle. You are not getting that. Now, once I got the JMP cycles, I was lucky enough they had this seat in stock. This is the Saddleman Extended Reach Road Sofa in the carbon fiber. And I have 6,000 miles on this seat and have not had a problem. Instantly out of the box, this thing was, I mean, 100 times better than that stock seat. I actually went from hating that new bike to actually loving that new bike because of this seat because the way i sat on it it actually made the bike fit me better now i have seen videos where people get these sent to them and they put them on and they're not mechanically inclined enough to know that there is a metal bracket that's down here in the bottom of this cutout you gotta make sure this goes into the metal bracket. And you'll know when it does it because it makes this noise. It's locked in, not going nowhere. I've seen them where they put it in and it went everywhere. So, don't be like her. Now, as far as the back seat, this is an extended reach. So fellas, if you're looking at this for your lady, <laughs> Yeah, that's about as much room as she's going to have. So you definitely got to consider her size if she's going to fit on this. Uh, I do have the tour pack. I have not yet upgraded to the backrest and the carbon material from Saddleman. It's on the list of things to do. It's just not on the top priority list. So I can't really speak about the back as far as comfort goes, but I can speak about this front section. What I really love about this seat is I go to rallies and stuff, the bike will be outside in the rain. Nothing you can do about that, right? So I know people that's had this in the LS stitch. What's bad about the LS stitch is the water will get up on it and drain down those holes from that thread going in the material. So then it gets in your foam and your gel and all that. So you go to wipe it off. You're like, oh, that's dry. Then you sit on it and all that water comes right out in your butt all the way to your drawers. So that does not happen with this carbon fiber. I highly recommend the carbon fiber seat no matter what brand you decide you want to go to. So keep that in mind when you're buying a seat too. Do you just want to wipe it off and go or do you want to sit there and have to push down and try to force all the water out of the seat and still get a wet butt. Now, the negative on this seat. I've heard people say 2,000 miles, it still ain't broke in. I don't buy that. This thing was, to me, was good to go right out the box. But I would like to see Saddleman incorporate what they did with the Dominator seat. And that's put a recess right down the center, straight up the back straight up through the backrest. And why that's good is because you do have a low, lower spot there where your tailbone won't have all the pressure sitting on it. And this seat does not have that. So that's gonna be kind of going over why that's important on the next seat. But as far as this seat goes, I'll give it a you know, 9.5 out of 10. 
if Saddleman had that going up in there, I would give it a 10. Uh, I, the seat has not let me down. It does kind of scuff easy when you get on and off the bike, so keep that in mind. And I've only had one passenger on it, so that wasn't very long, so I didn't really ask her what she thought of it. But definitely get the backrest, especially if you're going to be touring. Now, what could be better than the road sofa? And believe it or not, it's this seat, the Dominator. The Dominator has that low spot cut out right up the middle. I mean, you can see how far I'm pushing down. Your tailbone will have relief and your spine also because it goes straight up right into the backrest also. Both backrests lower spot there's a bolt that adjusts front back the top one adjusts how far this will go back and forth and both of them well this ain't really loose but both of these will go forward for the passenger to go on and this one has that thing i was talking about that some people miss and don't realize it is supposed to be in there so make sure your backrest goes in there because if not it does this and that's not that's not good so don't be like that person make sure it makes this noise it don't make that sound it's not in right now i talked to saddleman and they were saying they're gonna do away with some pockets on these backrests, which is awesome because I just fold them up. There's I, there's no need for me to have a pocket. I could cut it off, but you're gonna see the top of that nut on the on the uh, thing right here, and I'm just like, well, fold it over, better than nothing. Uh, also, Saddleman, what's up with these? This is the extended reach in the Dominator and they make a T here. So I actually put mine right here all the way up against it. That gives me just that little bit of extra room and it's still locked in up here. So I actually used some bigger washers that are real thin aluminum that'll lock in after I crush them down. So leads me to this when you buy this seat you will get two of these hopefully the camera is actually zooming in on it and making it clear one little side's hex other side's round now i don't remember the size wrench and i'm not going to throw that out there because once you lock these down you can actually probably put loctite on the studs and lock them down and it's really going to hinder somebody if they try to steal your seat. And speaking of stealing seats, all Saddlemans have a serial number in them, but Saddleman, you need to go and laser etch them onto the plates on the bottom. That way, somebody steals it, they can't cut the tag off. So if you get a Saddleman seat with no tag on it, in my opinion, that would be a stolen seat. So... I would always check to make sure these tags are on there because if something happens, you have to get it recovered. And that's also how Saddleman knows that it's their seat. So then they can go and recover it. And what I mean by recovering, I mean rematerialing it. Now, this seat has 2,500 miles, give or take, maybe 100. Um, God, man, this one, I love it more than the road sofa, to be honest with you. For a long haul going to Daytona, I was, we did not go gas station to gas station, but I could have done gas station to gas station and not had any numbness at any point at all. Unlike the road sofa, as I got closer to the end towards the gas station, I would start getting numb spots. In it. But as soon as I moved, those numb spots instantly went away. This seat, I didn't even get them. Now, I love the recession in it, but 
I have what I consider a normal size butt and it feels like my hind end is hanging off. So I would like to see this seat come out a little wider. I think it would be the perfect seat if Saddleman widened it because that will help, especially if they kind of flared up a little bit. In my opinion, it would be more comfortable for the longer hauls. They say this is a 100, 200 mile seat. I do not agree with that because I did 650 miles and was perfectly fine. I do have friends that have this seat and one has that seat with no backrest. The other has that seat in LS stitch and the one that has the LS stitch loves this seat. The other one hadn't got this one yet. So get off your butt and order it. You know who you are. Definitely get the backrest. The extended reach with the backrest in the carbon was around 802. Maybe don't hold me to the exact number, but it's in that ballpark. The Dominator. I think the backrest was 100 and something and the seat was 200 and something. So it's less than $400 for just the solo. You had another 100 or 200 for the rear pillion if you choose to go that route. I do not know how comfortable the rear pillion is because I don't have it. Right now my bike's set up solo and will stay that way until girlfriend wants to go ride. So my advice to anybody trying to get a new seat, be honest with yourself. What type butt do you have? And you know what I'm talking about. I'm not, you know, there's hard asses, soft asses, wide asses, flat asses, princess asses, Karen asses. I mean, you could go on and on and on. But be honest with yourself because when you start throwing money in the seats and you're not happy, you're throwing money away. Go to the dealerships. Sit on them. Try them out. There, there's a bunch of them in there on used bikes. Easy to do. Ask your buddies if they happen to have the same seat. You see me and say, hey, I really want to see that Saddleman seat. I'll let you sit on my bike to test it out. I did it in Daytona. Uh, and I do it here. I've done it here numerous times, actually. But always try to find whatever you're going to ultimately go with. Find it. Sit on it for yourself before you buy it. Because you could be making a mistake. And this ain't trying to lead anybody to Saddleman or any of the other brands. It's just be kind of frugal with your money. Don't waste it. Everybody's different. So my opinions with these seats may not go along with half the other people riding bikes right now. I do know a actually matched two other people because they said the exact same things that I said about both of these seats <laughs> and the factory seat. So if you have any questions on these, hit me up, let me know. You can get these in custom threads and all that. If you happen to do that, you have to go through Saddleman. But the great thing with Saddleman is once your order is complete, they email you. But once they go and make the seat pan, uh, pour the gel, cut the fabric, pour the foam, all that, you get an email at every step of the way to your seats completely built in a box and has a tracking number and shipped out. And their customer service is awesome. Never had a problem with Saddleman at all and would highly recommend them to anybody. But ultimately it's up to you. So I'm gonna get out because it looks like the rain's passed and I'm gonna try to go ride. So I'll see y'all on the next one. Get out and ride, enjoy it while you still got it. Peace.